I'm about to reveal how you guys can create and sell your own NFT on OpenSea.io, so let's get to work. The very first step you would have to complete, and this is a mandatory one that cannot be skipped, would be setting up your MetaMask wallet. It doesn't necessarily have to be MetaMask, but you need to have a cryptocurrency wallet that is based on the Ethereum blockchain. However, luckily for us, setting that up is only going to take a couple of minutes, so I'm not going to waste your time with that. We want to do is just install the Chrome extension, then set it up and you are good to go. Once that is out of the way, we can head over to OpenSea.io. And before we can click on the create button and start playing around with the NFT creation process, I would suggest that you take a look at what's already working, what people are already buying in terms of non-fungible tokens, right? You want to do a little bit of competitor research and try to model what they are doing and perhaps even improve upon it. So here's what you can do. I'm just gonna click on the explore button and then start taking a look at all of these different projects. We can click on the top ones and see what's trending right now. Now, of course, among the first ones are gonna be those insanely popular ones, such as the Board AB Yacht Club or CryptoPunks, but we can take a look at some other projects as well, such as Moonrunners. Now, of course, we are not aiming to copy them one-on-one -on -one because that's not gonna work. We wanna add our own unique touch and create something brand new, but we can take our inspiration from these already successful projects that are proven to work, right? As you can see, there are a bunch of different styles you can go for. You can create something more realistic, something more cartoonish, or you can go for that classic pixelated style that seems to be working pretty fine. We can see that is a recurring theme. CryptoPunks has it, Moonrunners has it, so you might as well want to go for that. And by the way, guys, you do not necessarily have to go for JPEG NFTs. You can also turn a video into a non-fungible token. You can even turn an audio file into an NFT if you want to. And I'm about to illustrate how in just a second. Again, this is a practical guide that you can follow along with. Take a look at the music section. You could literally turn music into non-fungible tokens. And it's not going to be any more difficult than turning a picture into an NFT. Here's how you do that. You want to click on the create feature and that's going to take you right here. Again, just as mentioned, you do need to have a wallet. That is why I insisted that you set up a MetaMask wallet or you can also go for Coinbase, Wallet Connect and you've got a bunch of other options as well. And that is if you want to use the Ethereum blockchain. If you want to base your NFT project on Solana instead, you may want to set up a Phantom wallet or a Glow one. I'm going to leave that up to you. But in the meantime, I will simply connect my MetaMask wallet and I'll be back in a second. And just to make sure that you guys are not going to have any problems setting up your wallet, here's what you have to do. You can click right here where it says create a new one, agree with your terms and conditions and create a new password. And now MetaMask is going to provide you with a secret recovery phrase. This one is really important. If you're going to use that wallet moving forward, if you want to receive your payments using that wallet, you want to save this in a place that you can get access to. You might even want to write it down on a piece of paper. This is your key to your Ethereum wallet. In case you lose this one, you will have no way to access it anymore. Now, this is a burn wallet that I'm not actually going to use, so I can reveal it with you and illustrate the process. But you should not share it with anyone because that way they can access your wallet and they can get access to your funds as well. So what I'm gonna do here is just copy this key and move forward. And now MetaMask will ask you to simply click on those words one at a time. So let me do that real quick. There you go. And at this point, we should be all set. Now that my wallet is ready to go, I can just connect it to OpenSea and it should be all good. And there you go. This is where you can create a new item. And as you can spot, you've got a bunch of different options when it comes to the format. We're talking about images, video files, audio files, or you can even upload the 3D model in case that is your thing. Then you can add a name, an external link, and this would be a presentation website that you can also set up. And I would highly suggest that you do that to provide some more information about it. You can add a description that will be displayed on open C. you can add it to a new collection if you want to and most significantly in order to make it even more unique more out of the ordinary you might as well want to add some properties a certain level some stats that's going to be entirely up to you um, next you want to pick the blockchain that you want to base your project on that can be ethereum polygon clayton or solana but what about the creative itself? How can we get that? Do you need to be a professional graphic designer or a video editor? Or do you need some really solid 3D modeling skills? Probably not. Here's what you can do. First and foremost, you gotta make sure that you actually own the rights to use that picture as an NFT. So you can either take that picture yourself, but chances are you will not be able to get anything that is high quality or really unique. And in order to overcome that obstacle, you can use free stock footage that you can find on pexels.com. This is entirely copyright free, so you're not gonna get in trouble for using it. So here's what I'm gonna do. Let's just type in cryptocurrency and see what shows up. And there you have it. 
Now we can literally download these pictures and upload them and create an NFT based on this free stock footage. But as you might expect, that's not going to be enough. You want to create something that is actually unique. You want to take it one step further. I think this picture right here could be a good starting point. I'm not just going to download it and reuse it as it is. Instead, I'm going to make some slight changes, make it look even more unique and then upload it. So let me illustrate that. One thing you can do, and this is an easy fix, would be heading over to Photory.com. And this website right here is going to apply a really unique filter over your picture and turn it into an NFT. Now, this is not an NFT. This is just a picture that has a filter on it. If you really want to turn it into a non-fungible token, you want to tokenize it on OpenSea. And I'm about to show you how you can do that as well. But let's take it one step at a time. Let's click on create an NFT now. And this is where we can upload our picture. So let's open it. I have just done that. And before you know it, this tool is going to create that new aspect that you're looking for. There you go. Now, this genuinely looks much better. It is a unique design and this might actually work. However, guys, there is a watermark on it. Now, there are ways around it. You can just download this picture as it is and then just crop it, which might work. Or if you want to remove it altogether, you would have to start the free trial. You don't actually have to pay for the subscription. You can just start the free trial, enter in your credentials, set up a free account and then cancel it. But here's another way that you can create a unique NFT that I really love. And this is based on artificial intelligence. What you can do is connect to hotpot.ai. Now, this is a tool that will come in handy for a bunch of different purposes. You can restore all pictures, you can personalize art, you can colorize black and white photos. But most significantly, you can actually create AI-generated NFTs. Here's what you need to do. Let's head over to the NFT Creation Center and select NFT Generator. Up next, you want to pick the AI NFT Maker and you are good to go. This tool will require a description of that NFT you would like to draw. So you can just enter in some keywords and then you can also pick a particular style that you're interested in. That can be photorealistic, pencil sketch, black and white 3D. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to choose photorealistic just because I want to know what it looks like. And let's add some keywords. Let's say Elon Musk, travel and space. Can we get something relevant based on those keywords? Let's find out. Now, it is going to take a while. So in the meantime, let's take a look at what we can do in order to actually tokenize it. And for that reason, we need to get back over to OpenSea.io. Let's click on this picture right here and I'm going to use this design, but you're going to make it look better and remove this watermark. I'm going to connect to canva.com and then click on edit photo. That will allow me to upload my design and start playing around with it. Don't worry about it. This is effortless. Canva.com might actually be one of the most user intuitive websites I've ever tested. What we want to do now is click on the crop section and just remove the watermark. It's only going to take a couple seconds, but it's worth it. And now we are good to go. I'm also going to resize it. So let's just drag it out. Let's make sure it fits well. And then we can upload it and actually tokenize it. Again, this is not an NFT just yet. It's just a picture. Let's click on the share button and download the design. Now you want to head back over to OpenSea and upload it. You can just drag it and drop it. There you go. Now we can add a name, we can add an external link and all of these other details. And then you can click on the create button and you're good to go. But if you do that, you're gonna find out that you're not done just yet. There is one more thing you would have to do. Now our NFT has just been created. So it is actually out there. We've created an NFT. However, if you actually want to sell it on the marketplace, there is one more step you need to complete. As you can spot, the NFT has been minted, so it is out there. But you're to sell it, you would have to afford the gas fees. What you can do is set a fixed price or even select the time auction in case you want people to bid for it. That is entirely up to you. But in order to actually list that NFT, you would have to pay a certain amount of money. There is a service fee that you also have to cover, but upfront, you would have to pay about $18 in order to cover the gas fees. As you can spot, this amount will change rapidly. And so you also got to keep that in mind. If you want to list your NFT for $15 for sale, you're not going to make a profit. You will end up wasting some cash. For the reason, you want to increase the price a little bit further. In the meantime, our artificial intelligence generated NFT is also ready. It is not all that relevant, so you may want to give it a few more tries. But after a few iterations, it's actually going to look pretty good. Again, this is just an option you have. There are countless different ways you can create that NFT. But most importantly, you need to tokenize it. And you can do that through OpenSea, just as I've illustrated. Now, the other question we would have to answer is, who's gonna purchase it? Probably no one. Now, let's just think about it for a second, guys. Let's be honest. You've just created a random NFT and you're gonna list it on OpenSea. Nobody's gonna be interested in it because it doesn't offer any sort of utility. 
Now, if you connect to rarity.tools, which is a website that allows you to keep an eye on the latest NFT sales, you're going to find out that some of these new NFT projects might look even worse than your design. However, it is not only about the looks, it is not only about the aspect, it's also about the community. Each and every single one of these projects has got a huge community behind it. We're talking about a Discord server with thousands or even tens of thousands of members, a decent following on Twitter, and an entire website that is specifically designed, providing more details and sharing information about the developers. Let's check out a few of the communities here. 11,000 members, here's another one with 22,000. As you can see, it's not just about the looks, it's about the community. If you're able to bring together a good number of people who are genuinely interested in your project and they see some utility behind it, you might be able to sell them, but otherwise it's gonna be pretty tricky. And so instead of listing my own NFTs on OpenSea randomly, I would try helping these developers in some sort of way, perhaps managing their community, perhaps helping them with the design. There are a lot of ways you can help them. You can just reach out to them by connecting to their website and then finding their contact section. Most of them have an Instagram page, a Twitter account, and a Discord server where you can reach out to the developers directly and try to help them out. That is how you can get accustomed to the NFT world and then you can learn from experts who have already done it before. That's how you can launch an NFT collection that actually sells. But before then, you already know the steps you need to follow. Oh guys, and by the way, there was a mistake here. I've actually listed mine for 100 Ethereum, so I'm not really sure anybody is going to purchase it. If you do, make sure to let me know in the comments below. That's it for now and thanks for watching.